when you say statistic it means a political state only either by word of latin or word of german is considered either by the word of french so all these are referred so when you say statistic it is nothing but political state you collect the data in a systematic manner for predetermined purpose and place in relation so accuracy has to be calculated statistics of aggregate facts and figures it's a total of whatever the facts and figures are available it is going to be represented hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanya called by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management vidyashram first aid college a temple of excellence mysuru in this session i am going to hand business strategy third semester unit 1 session 1 bcom in favor of introduction to strategy here i am going to explain what is strategy what are the contents of strategy what are the basic concept of the statistics origin and growth of statistics the word statistics is derived from the latin word status the word statistics derived from latin word status the french word statistique and german word statistic the meaning of all these word refer to the political state so previously when you say statistic it means a political state only either by word of latin or word of german is considered either by the word of french so all these are refer so when you say statistic it is nothing but political state hence the statistics is much related with administrative affair of the state so when you say political state will give more important for administration matter of the state every state require facts figure relating to population food income defense and production etc for effective admin so every government wants to say that they give more importance regarding the population regarding the food regarding the income regarding the defense and production for the effective admin if we want to make the productive administration so we have to give the more important for production for food for income and defense which we which gives the effective administration earlier these mere facts and figure were referred to statistics so when it says say statistics it refers to all these facts and figures regarding the production regarding the income regarding the expenses regarding the population regarding the defense only the speakers facts and figure related to this however gradually the significance of the collection tabulation analysis of data has gained much prominence so as the days passes on we are going to analyze whatever the data is collected it is going i have been analyzed in such a way that it should be understood by even for a common people it has been analyzed this have facts and figure which have been given have been analyzed and gave a much prominence later the scientific methods evolved the process of data and separate branch of analysis data is emerged this result in creation of an independent branch of science called statistics so as the days passes on here see the word much separate branch of analysis data is emerged thus the result in so give the more important point from the point of the science it is called statistics kautilya's arthashastra see that Kautilya's Arthashastra mentioned that during the Chandragupta Maurya period, when Kautilya, one of the famous man, especially for num numerical numbers are considered, Arthashastra in his book he says mentioned that during the Chandragupta Maurya period, the registration of birth was in prevalent, even the Book A in Akbari written by Abdul Fazal in 1596 
course, the statistics survey conducted during the period of Akbar. So these two are the most important books which you have got. One is Kautilya Sartha Shastra, then Abdul Fazal. Both are written on the books. They give the more important facts and figures of the population and the income they have written. So all these books say statistics prevailing in those days also. In the Chandragupta Maurya school, that is Kautilya, one of the famous good mathematician and administrator, he has written about the facts and figures available in the particular country, then uh, even during the Akbar regime also. So books are available about the facts and figures of the population, income, everything. It has been grown in such a way that so everything has been analyzed. Then what are the clear definition of statistics? A branch of mathematics dealing with the collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of masses of numerical data. So what is actually statistics somebody say is that dealing with the collection, analyzation, interpretation and presentation of mass of numerical data, data have been presented. Statistics as the science of estimate and probability. It's a science of estimate. Some authors say it's a science of estimate and probability. Another author says, Professor Faraz Sikrist defined statistic we mean aggregate of facts affect to a marker extended by multiplicity of causes numerically expressed, enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standards of accuracy collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose and place in a relation. So what he says, no, it is enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standard. Whatever the figures available, it has been analyzed in such a way that accuracy has to be calculated collected in a systematic manner. You collect the data in a systematic manner for predetermined purpose and place in relation. So accuracy has to be calculated. In one, characteristics of statistics. That is nature of statistics. What is the nature of statistics? One, these are all the nature of statistics. Statistics of aggregates facts and figures. It's a total of whatever the facts and figures are available, it is going to be represented. Second one, statistics are affected by multiplicity of cause. So whatever it results in the causes for changes in the numerical numbers. Statistics are numerically agreed. It is numerically expressed in number B means all stats or numbers are there, it is numerically expressed. Statistics are estimated according to reasonable standards of accuracy. So accuracy point will be presented by statistics by collecting the data and representing the numerical number. Statistics are collected in a systematic way. So here numbers are collected in a systematic manner. Statics is for a predetermined price. It is used for the predetermined purpose. Statistics are capable of being placed in relation to each other. They compare one figure to another figure, one data to another data. It goes on in statistics. Then come back here. Functions of statistics. What are the functions of statistics? The complexity in data is simplified by whatever the data collected, mass data, it has been made, made very simple to so that a common man can understand. Number two, it reduces the volume, the bulk of data, the bulk of data will be reduced. If there are 1000 pages, 2000 pages, it will be reduced so that even a common man can read and understand what is the statistics is. It adds accuracy of to thinking. So the accuracy of thinking has been came into field here so that we can understand when the data is given, why the data is given, what's the reason for the data. Easy to compare the data. It assures accuracy in comparison of sets of figures. It helps in framing the best policies. It helps to make the policy take the data given by the statistics. 
it helps in planning and decision making it helps in forecasting and estimation it helps in analyzing assessing the relationship between different factors then advantage the importance of statistical science is increasing in almost all sphere of knowledge example it will be help in astronomy it will help in biology it will help in meteorology it will have demography economic and mathematical economic planning without statistics is bound to be based like this is important so any economic planning depends upon statistics the whatever the figure that is supplied by the statistic if the economics planning is going to be frame if the statistics give the wrong information the economic plan becomes the wrong so entire economics plan depends upon the figure given by the statistic a separate branch of science is evolved called data science which is the extension of statistics this is important so one is the data given by the statistic economic planning based on the data given the statistic statistics data are perfect and analyze give the proper way so that the economic planning should be successful and even the whatever the science it is nothing but a science statistics is nothing but a science today separate branch of science is involved for the statistics then one what are the limitation of statistics what are the why what is some limitation is there first one major limitation qualitative aspect is ignored it gives a more important for quantity it ignore the qualitative the statistical method are applied to only numerical data number whereas it is not applied to qualitative data such as beauty leadership and honesty it does not give any important for beauty contains leadership and honesty number 2 it does not deal with the individual item statistics does not deal with the individual item it deals with the aggregates of facts it won't deal with the individual item it gives aggregate of facts and figure individual terms as birth of six person in hospital 85% result of a class of a school in a particular year will not amount to statistics as they are not placed in a group of similar item so it won't give the more item here it does not deal with the individual item it does not deal with the individual items then it does not deficit entire story of phenomenon when a phenomenon happens that is due to many causes but all these causes cannot be expressed in terms of data so we cannot reach at the correct conclusion we cannot arrive the correct conclusion because they won't give the importance for individual item it gives the group of items it is liable to be misused the statistics can be misused statistical results are represented by figures which are liable to be manipulated it can the numbers can be manipulated and also the data placed in the hands of an wrong expert may lead to fallacious result the result may go wrong last one statistic relies on estimates and approximations it only depends upon only estimation and approximation statistics always relies on estimation and approximation and they are based on probability so chances are they may be may not be happen so these results win not always as good as of of scientific laws so it is not depends of just like a scientific only approximation figures are according to the approximation figure they are going to build whatever the planning is there so it is nothing but a failure one on the basis of probability we can only estimate the production of a paddy in 2018 but cannot be make a claim that it would be exactly 100% so we based only based on approximation depends upon statistics is based on only 
approximation so that estimation and approximation so the result may not be good 100% but we can do it 100% cannot be good i have explained about the details of the statistics how the statistics are stunted what are the advantage of statistics what are the limitation of study everything i have explained in the next session i am going to have made the tabulation and classification till then goodbye meet in the next class thank you thank you once again